guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, it's a Wednesday so it's another what I eat in a day. We had quite a busy day today. We ended up running an emergency errand. I have a really good dinner recipe for you and of course all of the rest of my meals throughout the day. Palmer got some new gear that I'm going to be sharing with you so it's going to be a fantastic day. If you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and just ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single upload. Down in that description description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories essential to know where you should fall every day to be successful. So definitely take advantage of that. And then I do offer individual coaching one-on-one -on -one as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group, head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So we have a busy day. So let's jump in. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama And trying to be tough all the day time so excited for this. So the slice of the Trader Joe's sourdough bread is two points. I have three points worth of avocado, zero for the eggs, zero for the mango. That is the easiest way that I've found to get the mango cut. So let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to slice mango, but that works really, really well every single time. As long as your mango is fairly ripe, it works like a charm. So this is going to be my five smart point breakfast. I just woke up for the day. It's 11 o'clock, and I just woke up. Yeah. Hi, bud. Diesel, how are you today, buddy? Everyone is outside going potty. Palmer, can you go potty for mama? Here is my mid-morning snack. I have 220 grams or two servings of the Good Culture Low-Fat Cottage Cheese. You guys know this is my favorite. I did pick this up at Target, and like I've mentioned, Target does not carry the full fat, unfortunately. I really need to make a trip to Natural Grocers to pick up the full fat, but I am going to have one cup or two servings of that, as well as this Revive Kombucha in Hibiscus. I did pick this up in Imperfect Foods. It's the first time I'm trying the Revive, so I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts, but I count kombucha as one point. It is technically three points on WW, but it's 50 to 60 calories, so I always just count it as one so my morning snack is four points let's taste it cheers Ooh, that's good 
it definitely is fruity. I'm getting more fruity than really any other flavor for it. It isn't that really strong vinegary kombucha taste. So if you're opposed to that and that's not your favorite, this one is definitely more on the sweet side, but it's bubbly and sparkly like kombucha. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. It's really delicious and I would definitely add this to another Imperfect Foods order. Hey buddy. Hi. Hey baby. Lola, come here. Come see mommy give you loves. Hi baby. Hi baby. Why don't you guys play a little, burn off a little energy this morning. He so badly wants Diesel to play with him, but Diesel just faces the opposite direction of him and literally ignores him. But she generally will play with him, so. The joys of being a puppy. Happy dog, bud. Diesel. Hi, buddy. I love you. Are you just hanging out? Hanging out in the cold gravel? So I'm currently on my way to Target. I have a story for you guys. So it's a little bit of story time. So emergency a Target run. I just finished my meal prep and I sat down to edit. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been having some computer issues. I actually posted on my Instagram on Friday or Saturday, yesterday, that I'd been having some issues. So first I was getting what they call the blue screen of death. And apparently that's this air screen that pops up on Windows computers. I ended up calling tech support. I did have a warranty through Costco. So I ended up calling them and they walked me through updating my drivers and my BIOS. And that seemed to work for a solid day. My computer worked flawlessly. And then while I'm in my real estate office on Friday, I'm working away and all of a sudden my computer completely shuts down. Just turns off and it's hot. So in my mind, I'm thinking maybe it's overheating. So I let it sit for a while, cool off, nothing. I can't get it to turn back on. I get home, we remove the battery, which is on the back of my laptop with 90,000 screws. So we take all the screws out, we remove the battery. I'm looking online, we're doing all the things online to try to power it back up, nothing. It will not power back up, it will not work. So yesterday morning, because obviously I can't be without a computer, I go ahead and go to Best Buy because they have actually computer repair there. So I thought that it would make the most sense to take my computer that's not working to the repair place in hopes that when I buy a new computer, they can transfer all of my information, all my intros, all the artwork for my channels, literally everything on my computer I need, my taxes that I haven't paid yet for this year. So I'm crossing my fingers that I can just a wham bam, thank you ma'am at Best Buy, buy a new computer or get my computer fixed. So the repair guy takes a look at my computer, realizes that the motherboard doesn't have any power. That's why my computer won't power up. The motherboard is completely toast. And with COVID, you can't send them out to the manufacturer, which is overseas, I'm assuming. So basically that made my laptop unfixable. So now I'm in the market for a brand new laptop. So he gets me a salesperson, really nice guy at Best Buy, really, really knowledgeable. I tell him that the main purpose I'm looking for for this laptop is to edit videos. That's really all I care about. You can get on the internet on any laptop. I want something that's fast enough that has the video card to edit videos. So he immediately takes me over to a Mac ProBook. Now I've never had a Mac. I just got an iPhone, which I love my iPhone, but it was a big learning curve from an Android to an iPhone. And he's just explaining to me that a Mac is a much better choice for what I'm looking for than a Windows-based computer. So he ends up showing me a few Windows-based computers as well. They're all pretty much the same price. So I decide that I'm going to take the plunge and get the the Mac. That way it syncs up with my phone for all my photos because right now when I take a picture on my phone of food for meal prep, for example, I actually have to email that to myself in order to upload it into my editing software that I make my thumbnails in. So this way it'll just be seamless. It'll automatically pull directly from my phone. So I end up going with a MacBook. He tells me that they can hopefully transfer all of the data from my old computer onto my new MacBook, which I have to have that. That's all my intros. That's my artwork. It's everything, but it can take five days. So I told him, well, I can't be without a computer for five days. That's why I'm here buying one right now. So I end up buying an external hard drive so that they can take the information from my dead computer, put it on an external hard drive, and then I can put it onto my new computer at home. That way I can just take my computer home and start working. So he goes to get the computer out of the back and realizes that they don't have any. So luckily at another Best Buy in my town, 45 plus minutes away, they have one in stock. So I said, no problem. As soon as I get done at Jazzercise, I'll go pick it up. So I also, so he also advises me that Macs do not have USB ports. 
what the heck? And I have to have USB ports for my mouse, my wireless mouse, for my keyboard. I actually have an external keyboard. I just don't prefer the one on the laptop. So I end up having to buy this $15 cord pack that allows me to plug a USB into that and then plug it into my computer. So that's fine. That ends up being at the store where the laptop is. So I pay for everything at the Best Buy by my house. It ends up being about $1,900. And that's for the laptop, the cord pack, the hard drive and an extended warranty to make sure that they can transfer that data. It basically covers that and then it gives me an extra year warranty on the MacBook. So I pay, I go to Jazzercise, I start driving out to the other Best Buy and it dawns on me that I should probably call Costco because that's where I picked up my dead computer a couple years ago. So I call Costco and come to find out that exact computer is $100 less than Best Buy plus currently has a coupon for another $100 off making it $11.49 and I paid $13.49 at Best Buy and if I charge it on my Costco credit card I get an extended warranty so I could actually cancel that extended warranty that I paid $200 for. Get to Best Buy to pick up the computer and I ask her if they match prices. She says yes. I explain to her the price point at Costco so she hops on her phone looks up the computer and it shows $12.49. 49 because it's $12.49, but there's a $100 off coupon right now. So she tells me that she can only give it to me for $12.49, not $11.49, because they don't honor the Costco coupons, which doesn't make any sense to me because that's the price at Costco. I think that's the price they should honor. So obviously I decide not to buy the computer from Best Buy. So I end up returning the computer, the extended warranty, and all I end up buying is that two pack of cords that I need for USB. So she gives me a refund just shy of like $1,700 on my credit card. So I immediately drive to Costco, which is like 10 minutes away from Best Buy. I end up getting the computer at Costco for the $1,149. So I end up saving five or $600. Now I'm going to most likely have to pay the $100 for them to recover the info from my old computer and transfer it to the external hard drive, which is completely fine, but I end up saving well over $500. So he never told me at Best Buy that the MacBooks also do not have an SD card reader. And I need an SD card reader to put my SD card from my camera in, in order to edit videos. So last night I hop on the Target website. I order a case for my laptop because they were $60 at Best Buy. And I got a super cute one for $20 at Target. Order the contraption thing that supposedly loads the SD card into your laptop. This is what it looks like. This is the contraption. So it's $30. No problem. I order it. I drive up here, drive to Target. I pick it up at their drive through sit down today to edit and it doesn't fit in my computer. So I'm back to square one again. I ended up hopping onto Amazon and ordering the SD card reader and USB all in one for $20. I paid $30 just for this one plus $15 for the USB reader. So I'm returning this one because it doesn't work. I ordered the ones off of Amazon. I ordered a computer monitor so I had a bigger screen to edit. That's something I've actually wanted for a while. I just decided I would use the money I saved and go ahead and order that. So now I'm just hoping Target has something that will work until my Amazon order gets here because at this point, I can't edit videos at all. I still don't know if they're going to be able to recover from my old computer. So it's been a very stressful couple of days. So I'm gonna head into Target. Let's cross our fingers and toes that they have something that will work until my Amazon order gets here. It was actually $40 instead of 30. He did say that I could return it up to 30 days. So I think when mine comes in from Amazon, I'll take it back, but I got it. I can finally go home and edit my video. So hallelujah. It is 12 15. I just got back from my emergency target run and I'm going to have some lunch. So this is my shrimp tacos that I made for my meal prep. So I'm going to have one of those. I ended up using the flour tortilla instead of the corn tortilla. So if you haven't seen my meal prep that went up on Monday, check that out. I show this recipe and then I'm having one serving of the Cheez-It snapped. I picked those up on coupon at Costco. So the taco is going to be three points. The Cheez-Its are five points. I have a big cup of water here. So this is my eight smart point lunch and I will put the calories here on the screen for you. Dog pile. Play nice everyone. Oh yeah, everybody. 
Every one of you. <laughs> Plumber has no idea that Diesel could just roll right on over him. She has him by his collar and drags him around. Look at that. We actually had to give him a bath because he was so dirty she drug him through the gravel. And he doesn't care at all. He just wants to play with her. Happy dog, bud. Diesel. Hi, buddy. I love you. Are you just hanging out? Hanging out in the cold gravel? Today's afternoon snack is on the go. I have a dog duty, so we're headed outside to play for a little bit. So I'm just gonna munch on the Salted Caramel Built Bar. I like this one, it's three points. It is the perfect size for that quick afternoon snack. I will make sure Built Bar is linked down below with a 10% discount. I've gotten a lot of questions on the link. You can use that link every time you order. The code doesn't expire and you can reuse it over and over again. So make sure you're jotting down the link or saving it somewhere and that will get you 10% off. So this is my three point afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I'm making a one pot 30 minute meal. I'm excited for this. It's been a really busy day and I'd like to relax a little bit tonight. So I'm looking forward to a quick, easy meal. So we're making Tuscan chicken, mac and cheese. Again, this is a 30 minute one pot on the stove top meal. So you're going to need some chicken, of course chicken broth you could also use wine whatever your preference is pasta of course i'm using fiber gourmet it's the only pasta that i like to use it is so delicious it is so low point in calorie it's only 100 calories versus 210 that's for two ounces dry that makes it only two points per serving versus five to six points so it's a steal in calories and points it also has 25 grams of fiber which is your daily intake as a woman all in pasta which is incredible versus the traditional two grams in pasta 17 grams of net carbs versus 41 and it also has seven grams of protein this is the linguine they also have elbow penne and rotini you can find this on netrition i'll make sure it's linked down below for you we need a lot of cheese because we're making mac and cheese so we have a light shredded three cheese blend mozzarella cheese you'll need some spinach sun-dried tomatoes a yellow onion italian seasoning smoked paprika or sweet paprika parsley salt and pepper whole milk oil of your choice light butter minced garlic flour and one more cheese parmesan the first thing i did is went ahead and added my chicken tenderloins to a big stock pot so this is like a soup stock pot because again everything's cooked in one pot so we want to make sure there's plenty of room so we are going to add in some salt and pepper we're also going to add in some parsley flakes and two teaspoons of the oil we're going to allow the chicken breast to cook completely through as the chicken's been cooking, I've been kind of separating it, shredding it up a little bit with the fork. We're going to transfer it over to a plate here, wrap it in some foil, and just set it aside while we put together the rest of the dinner. To that same pan, we're going to add two tablespoons of light butter. I did go ahead and chop up the onion and added a few cloves of minced garlic. And we're going to allow this to saute down just to get those onions nice and translucent. We're now adding in the one third cup of chicken broth or wine, and then we're going to allow this to simmer and reduce down a bit. Next, we're going to add our roughly chopped sun-dried tomatoes. Stir those in, and I'm going to allow them just to soften up a bit with that leftover chicken broth. Stir in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour until it coats the tomato onion mixture. Then we're adding two cups of chicken broth and two and a half of our three cups of milk. Kind of give that a quick stir and then we're going to add in salt, pepper, paprika, and Italian seasoning. Allow this mixture to come to a simmer. You can reduce the heat if you need to. I'm going to add in my pack of fiber gourmet pasta and allow the noodles to simmer until they're al dente. Again, we want this at a low simmer. Once your pasta is al dente, I'm actually going to add this whole bag of spinach the recipe wants three cups, and this is pretty close to that and will wilt down to virtually nothing. Spinach is wilted. Remove your pot from the heat and add in your cheese, mozzarella, light cheese, and Parmesan. We want to add that in rather quickly and then stir that up while the pot is off of the heat. You can add in a little bit more of that milk. We have about a half of a cup 
off to the side to thin out the sauce if needed. And remember, as the sauce cools, it's going to get even thicker. Then added my chicken back into the pasta, and we're just going to stir that through. It's still warm because you can see here I did cover the plate with some foil, but I am going to stir that chicken and kind of shred that up a little bit more throughout the pasta. Look at how amazing this looks. My house smells incredible, like an Italian restaurant. I'm going to plate this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here's my dinner, you guys. This looks so good. That entire huge pot of pasta only makes six servings, so you get a ton for the points and calories. One sixth of the pasta is six points on the blue and purple plan and eight on green, just so you, because you do have to account for the chicken, it is 402 calories per serving. So this is one of those dishes that you actually get a good calorie bang for your points buck. So it will definitely help you reach your caloric goals, but this looks so incredibly delicious. 5.45 p.m. and this is the last of my gallon of water. For dessert, I'm having one of my less sugar peach Cleo bars that I picked up from Costco. I'm so happy to have my hands on these. Definitely check your Costco to see if they carry the peach and mixed berry pack. The mixed berry is so good. It's covered in yogurt or like a white chocolate coating. The peach is covered in the regular chocolate. So good. These ones are only three points where the regular ones are six. So this is dessert for three points. what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my delicious food, running some errands, and of course that amazing dinner recipe. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, before you go, hit that little subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to check out the description box for links, discount codes to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there as well. Well, happy Wednesday, friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time.